our stories. It's a first of its kind school aimed at helping troubled youth at a critical time. Today, Mayor Greg Ballard helped cut the ribbon for a charter school for teens in the juvenile justice system and those who have been expelled. RTV6's Katie Hines shows us the mission of Marion Academy. We're near 21st in Riley outside what will be known as the Marion Academy this fall. Starting on August 3rd, as many as 200 students will attend classes here in the first year. We don't want them just sitting at home once they've been suspended or expelled. We want to say, hey, we want you off the streets. We want you in these doors, getting your education. With the ribbon cut, preparations are now underway for children grade 6 through 12 to walk through these doors. Marion Academy Director Emmett Carney says teachers will rotate to work with teens in juvenile detention and when they transition back into the community. Attending classes will be a condition of probation or a parent's choice. The very first thing that we want to do is meet students where they are, academic academically, socially, emotionally. The terms will be eight weeks long with individually tailored plans. The chief academic officer for the Indiana Network of Independent Schools says an accelerated curriculum pairing history, government, and English into one class, for example, will help students earn credits more quickly. Hey. Pastor Malachi Walker has seen the need firsthand. He runs a ministry for at-risk youth out of the basement of his church in one of the city's most crime-ridden neighborhoods. Lack of education is probably one of the leading causes of them uh, going to prison and ending up dead. So uh, I just feel that any any way that uh, we can provide some type of education and keep our boys' uh, uh, mind open and moving in the right direction is important. The academy will lease the old School 68 from IPS, then operate with state funding and on a federal grant in its first year. On the east side, Katie Hines, RTV6. Students will be graded in a non-traditional manner based on communication, confidence, and the ability to interact with others. The Indianapolis Charter School Board approved the plan for Marion Academy last year. The board expressed some initial reservations prior to giving the green light about the school's ability to meet state and federal education guidelines.